must do this properly, Tessie. That churn is lost property, so we must take it to Mr Plod first. Then he can give it back to Mr Straw. And Mr Straw can tell Mr Plod how angry he is. Then Mr Plod can tell me. Oh, but I shan't tell you. You're so brave and kind, Noddy. Thank you. It's horrid of her to think that. I'll never, never take her out in my car again. Never. Never, 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 never. All right, that, that's enough nevers. Never, 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 never. Stop it, I'm running out of pencil. <clears throat> now, she heard the jingling of a little bell as the thief ran away. And you're the only one in Toyland who jingles when he walks, because you've got a bell on your hat. I didn't steal from Sally Skittles' larder. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't. That's enough didn't. Oh, look what you've made me do. Oh, 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 oh good heavens, what's happening? Good morning, Mr Sparks. Your milk will soon be here. Oh, good heavens, what is happening? Stop! Puppy dog, stop! <laughs> oh, yes, sugar. Oh, I hope that's not too much. Milko. Come in, Mr. Milko. My recipe says I need a pint of milk for Big Ear's birthday cake. Here you are, then, Noddy. One pint of milk. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's not mixing very well. You yeah, will, um, I think you should pour the milk out of the bottle first. Oh, yes, of course. I'd never baked a cake before. And I've got so much to do. I've got to buy a present for Big Ears. A brand new cocoa mug with toadstools on it. But I still haven't earned the money for it. That was a lovely cake, Tessie. <laughs> Tessie, what's the matter? Oh, Noddy! <laughs> Noddy, just look at you. What are you laughing at? <laughs> look at the back of your trousers. I can't see my back. Noddy, you must come quickly. What are you doing? Trying to look at my back. Oh, not dear. Oh, dear. You really must look in the mirror. Oh, no. Who's painted my trousers red? It must have come off your red stool, Noddy. Oh, yes, that horrid Master Tubby Bear. He's repainted my stool and I sat down on the paint. I shall paint his nose red and I'll paint his ears green, and... Not here, no. There isn't time for all this painting. Mr Plod needs your help. Mr Plod? Why? He was stretching too far, and he fell off his ladder from top to bottom. Bump! <gasps> oh, dear. Is he badly hurt? Well, not badly, although he has dented his helmet. Poor Mr. Plod. He's going to stay at my house so I can look after him until he's better. We need you to drive him there in your car, Noddy. Yes, of course. But, um... <laughs> do change your trousers first. <laughs> this doesn't look like Noddy's hat. Where's the bell? Still, uh... <laughs> yeah, how do I look, Noddy? How do I know? I'm trying to tighten this wretched nut. There's no need to be so... Oh, there. I've done it. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, excuse me, Noddy. Uh, could you help me, please? I'm, uh, yeah, uh, Sorry, Clockwork yeah, Mouse. Oh, I'm in no, such a hurry. Uh, Jessie uh, Bear is waiting. But, Noddy, I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, oh, no, help! Someone, help! Hello, hello. 
What's all this? A talking hat? Oh, Mr. Plod, it's not the hat that's talking, it's me, Clockwork Mouse. I was looking after Noddy's hat and he jumped over my head. Now then, young feller, me mouse, that's not Noddy's hat. It's Bigger's. What? I shall take charge of this hat girl forthwith and return it to its oh. rightful owner. <laughs> Mr. Plod, you've forgotten to leave the lamp post. Oh, I suppose I shall have to stand here all night. I dare say no one will notice me. I shall probably have to stand here day after day, night after night, week after week, month after month. Noddy, you still haven't untied that lamp post. But you never reminded me, Mr. Plod. Oh, bother. That means I shan't be able to tell you off. Yes, I know. It really is a very useful rope. <laughs> what a very quiet day. There's nobody to tell off. Nobody to arrest. <laughs> That's Noddy's bell. Noddy, where are you? You come back here, my lad. It's my duty to tell you off and then arrest you. I am so cross with Noddy. How can I give him a message if he's wherever he is? And to make matters worse, Tessie Bear, that bumpy dog of yours is racing around the town, jingling a bell and pretending to be Noddy. He wouldn't do that. Did I hear someone mention Noddy? You were lucky enough to hear me, Mr. Plod. Have you information regarding the whereabouts of that young rascal, Miss Pink Cat? He needs us turn telling off. Mm, I quite agree, Mr. Plod. He knocked me over outside my own police station. Shocking behaviour. Oh, I'm afraid it might have been Bumpy Dog who knocked you over, Mr. Plod. He's wearing a new bell on his collar. Well, I can't stand for that. You didn't stand for it, Mr. Plod. You fell over. Oh, do stop interrupting. Well, really, what a way to speak to one of this town's leading toys. Kindly remember, I have my duty to perform. Please don't argue. Miss Pink Cat, I shall be taking one of my special chocolate cakes to Big Ear's house later, so I'll be able to ask Noddy to take you to the station tomorrow. Please do. If he's not here, I shan't get there. And then where will I be? And Mr. Plod, I promise to find Bumpy Dog and take his bell away. Oh, make sure you do, Tessie. I want nobody else knocked down in this town. You mustn't be miserable, young Noddy. I've only got until three o'clock, Mr. Tubby, and I still don't know what surprise to give Big Ears. <laughs> I must cheer him up. What shall I do? <laughs> I think you should slow down, Noddy. You're making us dizzy. <laughs> do sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to uh, sit down also, my dear. <laughs> Hey, Gobbo! I told you the fire engine was here. Yes, yes, Sly, I know you did. Are they all asleep? Oh, yes, they're all asleep. Then we must do our duty as goblins. <laughs> we must steal their fire engine. What a fine night for a stroll, Clockwork Mouse. Oh, yes, Mr. Wobbly Man. I always like to do it. Oh! I can't Uh, Mr. Plod? Please, silence while I'm following a trail. But you're just about to walk into a... Oh. <coughs> 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 
into a branch. You might have warned me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Pink Cat. I've brought your fish. In another five minutes, you would have been late, Noddy. Then I could have been cross and told you off. Ah, well. Oh, what a magnificent red ruby. That's a beautiful ring, my heart is. It's worth a fortune, I'd say. I should say it's worth a fortune. I've already said that. You just found it, you tell me. Oh, yes, yes, we just found it. We just found it lying about. We found it in the woods. We found it lying about in the woods. I've said that. Uh, for how much would you sell the ring? For a fortune. But to you, Sammy Sailor, ten sixpences. I've only got six sixpences. Then you can have it for six. I'll take it. Yes, I can sell a ring like this on my travels. You mustn't show it to anyone. Not till you go on your travels. You mustn't show it to anyone in Toyland. No, no, no. I shall keep it hidden in my sea chest. And I shall hide my sea chest where no one will think of looking. Yes, hide your sea chest where no one will think of looking. He just said that. <laughs> Ladies and... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, gentlemen. gentlemen. Ladies and... Um, oh, yeah. Gentlemen. gentlemen. Ladies and... Um, uh, the others. Good day, Mr. Jumbo. What a pleasant... Look out! Oh. Oh. It was a sailing boat, Mr. Plod. It was flying. That shouldn't be allowed. I'll soon put a stop to this. You should throw those spells away, Noddy. Have you seen a sailing boat fly past? Yes, we have. It's under one of my magic spells. <laughs> magic spells? What nonsense. It's true, Mr. Plod. They... Do be careful, young. La, 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 la. You see, Mr. Plod, Tessie sneezed a dancing spell over you. Oh, yes, and... Oh, oh, Mr. Plod. Oh, 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 I'm on official police business. But a little bit. La, 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 la. No, my word. What's happening? Whoa. Oh. That must have been a walking backwards spell. What a delicious cake, Noddy. I knew it was your favourite. I've got presents for everybody. <gasps> oh. Lovely. For Tessie, a new teapot. Oh, Noddy. It's even more beautiful than my old teapot. For Mr. Milko, a new pair of shoes. Oh, thank you, Noddy. And for Mr. Tubby, a new scrubby brush, a tin of polish and some dusters so that he can help Mrs. Tubby with the housework. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> thank you, Noddy. <clears throat> Just uh, what I've always wanted. Oh, Noddy, how thoughtful. I only wish we'd bought you a present. Ah, well, as Biggie as always says, it's better to give than to take. Quite right. Uh, mind you, I shall take another piece of this delicious cake. Oh, oh me and too. I will. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 Hello, Noddy. <laughs> Dinah Doll says you'll give me a driving lesson. Well, it'll cost two sixpences. Here they are. <laughs> vroom, vroom! Have you ever driven a car, Clockwork Mouse? Yeah, yeah, I was very good. You must teach me to be brilliant. Do you remember how to drive? Yeah, of course. What's this for? Yeah, oh, well, uh, yeah, well, that's the one thing I've forgotten. Uh, yeah, what, what does it do? It tells the car which way to go. Easy! Watch this! <laughs> Slow down before we get to Stony Bridge. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> well, that was your first lesson. Oh, thank you, Noddy. I'm a brilliant driver now, so I shan't need any more lessons. Good. I'll find other toys to teach. Apple trees, car, 
<laughs> there is a clever scheme growing in my head. It so happens, my dear mouse, that we goblins have agreed to take a number of Mr. Straw's apple trees to sell to the toys. Have I? Of course we have. All we need is a car to collect them in and someone to drive it brilliant. We'll share the sixpences we make with that brilliant driver. Do you know a brilliant driver, Clockwork Mouse? Me, me, me. I'll be your brilliant driver. Well, 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 I never thought of that. All we need now is a car. Well, let's borrow Noddy's car. He's not using it. What a clever little mouse you are. 